Wagwan YouTube family. My name is Eric. This is the Eric Evolving channel. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Wagwan. 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 Wagwan YouTube family. My name is Eric. It's the Eric Evolving channel. If you're not yet subscribed, you know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe right now. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, man. First off, I want to say Happy New Year to all you guys. Um, 2021 is starting off with a bang. Um, but it has been 18 months since I've been living down here in beautiful Tampa, Florida, man. And I uh, have to say I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, just wanted to kind of give you guys a kind of like a recap of my time here. Um, so I relocated from the Bronx, Bronx, New York, down to beautiful Tampa in July of 2019. Uh, prior to prior to that, never even been here before. Um, yeah, prior to that, actually been here only to research, research the area. So I came down. No friends, no family, nothing. Just came down, drove my car down with some belongings. And um, it was it took some adjustment, you know what I mean? It took a little bit of adjustment coming here, but not a lot. Um, yeah, I moved to the Citrus Park area, beautiful area, beautiful apartment complex, Brookview Citrus Park. And um, and it was it was a little bit of an upgrade for me, right? Because now I go from living in, in a small Bronx apartment um, to now being two bedroom, two baths, you know, walk-in closets, dishwasher. Um, you know, our complex had a gym um, or have a gym and, and um, pool and all that stuff. And it was just like, damn, like I've upgraded, you know what I mean? Like I felt like I felt good, you know? Um, something that caught me by a little bit by surprise though was the amount of rain that we get down here in the summertime uh it seemed like it rained every single day for the first 30 days i was here um but that did not stop me from going out from enjoying the all the beautiful things and all the fun events and all that stuff that goes on in tampa met a lot of nice people and uh the people down here are very nice very nice people down here very nice very friendly um but yeah yeah i'm happy that i came down when i did i pulled the trigger when i did because i feel like my experience would be a lot different if i came down in 2020 well, you know with covid and everything going on things were just different you know what i mean so i was very happy with that um another thing that kind of caught me off guard was the amount of um thunderstorms we get you know and lightning yeah, the, the lightning game down here is on another level, man. Like, during the summertime, that lightning does not play around. It'll, it'll just be going going crazy. Um, and that's probably why we have a team called the Tampa Bay Lightning, which are the Stanley Cup champions right now. So, so that kind of caught me off guard just a little bit because in all my research that I did, somehow I missed that part of it, right? Um, yeah, so... The other thing that didn't necessarily caught me off guard, but something that I want to tell you guys about is that hurricane season is real, right? You know, once it comes to hurricane season, you got to get your hurricane supplies and definitely got to stack up on water. I think hurricane season starts around September, but if there's a hurricane, you know, days, weeks away from, from possibly hitting the Tampa Bay area, you cannot find water anywhere water is just gone like you can't you can't you can't find a store with water um you go in all the walmarts all the publics no water to be found anywhere um yeah and that's the other thing too whenever you if you're moving to this area make sure that you're in proximity of a walmart or even a publix because i found myself in walmart and publix very regularly like yeah like 30 times a month it's crazy um but yeah it's kind of like a little hangout spot <laughs> not really a hangout spot but yeah it's just a one-stop shop for everything with walmart so and they're all over the place down here that's the other good thing about down here too is that yeah 
the stores and everything like that, like all the little neighborhoods down here are all self-contained. So it's like, you know, you never have to travel like miles and miles away to get to, let's say, um, you know, Walmart or anything like that. You know, all of the little neighborhoods usually have their own little Walmart or Publix or whatever. So you're never finding yourself driving like hours and hours, not hours, but like 20, 30 minutes to get to, um, get to a supermarket or anything like that. It's, that's one of the things that I really, really like about down here. And one of the reasons why I feel like it's easy to adjust to is because all the neighborhoods are self-contained, especially coming from New York. You kind of feel like in New York, everything is just easily accessible. And I didn't want to move somewhere where it's like, all right, I got to jump on the highway to go to the supermarket. You know what I mean? No place that I've lived down here before, uh, down here has I ever had to do that. Everything is usually within like a five mile radius. Um, yeah, I will say like the Jamaican food and stuff like that, because I am Jamaican, you know, I don't have access to that as much as I would have access to it in New York but that's something that I'm adjusting to and it's all right yeah that's Jamaican food for me it's it's okay um, the drivers down here so people complain about the drivers down here a lot and I don't know maybe it's because I'm a bad driver myself I really don't have a problem with the drivers and really don't have a problem with traffic either um, Right now, I'm not necessarily in traffic. I'm, I'm picking up my son. So somebody may say, oh, he's in, sitting in traffic now. I'm picking up my son from school and it's um, a drive pickup um, where they, you kind of pick him up. They, they just, it's like a drive-by and they just jump in the car as you go around. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. But, but yeah, man, it's not, um, the traffic is not terrible in my opinion. Uh, the drivers are not terrible. The only thing I'll say is that a lot of the roads down here are nice and flat and smooth, not a lot of corners. So you have people want to show off how fast their cars are. You know what I mean? And um, that's probably why, why one of the reasons too is that there's so much accident attorneys advertising their services down here because probably people are getting into a lot of accidents because I'm telling you, like every second or third advertisement on the TV or on the radio is about uh, injury attorney. Every every second or third ad, man, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, man, uh, other than that, man, like, yeah, I'm loving it down here in Tampa. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. I, I really am enjoying my time down here. I liked it so much, just in case you don't believe me, um, yeah, 12 months into my time down here, I was fortunate enough to be able to purchase a home. So I went ahead and made a purchase because I decided that I wanted to stay down here for, for, for some time. Um, so I was lucky enough to purchase a home and now I live in like the new Tampa Wesley Chapel area. And, um, I'm finding that I, I love this area. Yeah, even more than I love the Citrus Park area where I moved to before. So, yeah, it's all about just kind of like adjusting. And I said, it, it's not much to adjust to, but yeah, there's definitely things that, that will be a lot different from wherever you're moving from. Um, I, I do plan to do a lot more videos. So hopefully, hopefully I could do some videos and uh, show you guys around the area and, and kind of just bring you guys a little bit more a little bit more information about the Tampa area and stuff like that so yeah if you guys have any questions if there's anything that you want to see just leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to bring you guys a video on that all right thanks for watching the video guys stay tuned to the channel definitely more videos coming soon subscribe if you're not subscribed turn on the bell all that good stuff all right see you guys soon happy new year peace
Wagwan 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 